All right, every, all right, everyone. So I got my Baggy Gone collection. All of them are my pirates, and I'm a fan of pirates. Well, good, good morning, y'all. Any, anyone who's watching, so I'm a fan of Baggy Gone, and I like, I like the new reboot, and and I have some Baggy Gone I have from, from the original game. So here's the Baggy Gone I have from, from the reboot, and I have the character cards for each of them. All right, first is let's try with one of my cores. This first with tar with Dragonoid. All right, so Dragonoid is good. Two hundred. It's really good. Do the fact it's the best of all the Dragonoid cores. Two hundred B power and it, with its Titan evolution, it's really good. It's good. However, I don't use it that much. <laughs> I don't use it that much. And here's a character card for it. <laughs> 200 B power and 5 damage. Very aggressive and very good. Next is my Pirate's Nullius Core. <laughs> Alright, so Nilli the Pirate's Nullius Core. So the Pirate's Nullius Core is not very good. And if you watch the Onyx videos videos on worst the best, back on worst the best, this back on is considered to be the worst in the Nilius Core line. With its evolution and being, being aired. But, been, but I assume that it, it's a yeah, collecting. A collect. Thing. It's considered being exclusive according to the detective. And here is a character card. However, I have two of the Nilius scores. The Nil his ultra cards. But this, I'll use this one as well. I'll use this one. All right. Next is Vice Rocks. But I'm calling or Flame. Well, my Vice. This is Flame. My Vice Rock. I call it Flame. And Flame Claw. The back is being Pyrus and Vice. Well, it's the successor of Terra Claw, and you know, in the original game, well, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And if you watch the Onyx Lady's video on this, on, on Pirate's Vice Rock, it's considered the best. And for, it's going to be good at Fury decks with it, the best Fury ability with gaining B power if you have Fury. And if you know, if you have a Cyndia Stand, Stand card, an Action card, you might will use it if you have Pirate's Vice Rock. You can give up a lot of your cards, so you can gain some of your health and reshuffle it. But it might be good. It's really good. So here's the card for it. Here's the card for it. Alright, next is my Mantis. It's Mantis, or... My pirate's mentanoid. All right, so mantis is really just your average core mentanoid. Well, I have its, its its character card right here. It's pretty good. And good because I really 500, 502 healing helix. Very. However, I, I have a helix three plus. 3B hundred, 300B and 3 damage. So it might, so if you want to go with Helix decks, you might want to use this back of core. Is that it's considered one of the best. And Mantis might be good. Good. Next is, so here's my core. So where's another? All right. So I have this, my Titan Dragon Roy core, and core. All right, so I have. All right, so it's it's very good. It's actually the one, of the, possibly one of the strongest cores in the game, in the game in Battle Planet. And then you know, I'm kind of a fan of the back then that I evolved, <laughs> and this is very nostalgic for the Spin Master for having evolved back. 
Nira. Although, <laughs> from seeing some YouTuber comments and balancing up to so making Dragon less than too overpowered, yeah, they're trying to make it slow this time. And I think it may be a good idea, but I really like Titan Dragon. All right, here's its character card, and it's really good. Good. Then I have the Armor Online's Pegatrix score. Alright, so this is really good. Yeah, I'm, and I'm kind of I like Pegatrix with some, some, that it's really good. With the Armor Alliance, yeah, be more like a, a horse, and, and I call it, and for my Pirates Pegatrix, I call it Trailblazer. For, for Titan Dragonoid, my Titan Dragonoid, I call it Titan. Although, it, it's, it's making the name. I'm not very good with namings, naming things. Trailblazer. So, 401, Double Strike, Magic Hue, and a Fist. Well, I'm, I kind of like, and I might want to put that in my deck. And you want to, and you want to use the Fire Fist deck? You might want to use the Armor Alliance Baku, Flame Fist Baku Gear Core with 200 B Power plus 2 damage. And minus two Baku gear. And if you want to use a battle plan card, my guess is 250 plus 250 B power plus three damage. That'll be good. Next is now for the ultras. So I have this Pirates Dragon Oil Ultra. It is not very good. Oops. Get back here. Alright, so it's known to be not very good. Good at holding the cores. I, I think I'm not very good at rolling very well, but this is yeah, Dragonoid Ultra. <laughs> Mag magic Shield and a, and a Fist. Shield and a Fist, and it's pretty decent. <sighs> But, however, according to Xenon Blair, it can be seen to be outclassed. <laughs> outclassed by Nobilius Ultra. Pirate Nobilius Ultra. One of the Power Creep Boys. <laughs> A battle planet. <laughs> then I have... <laughs> well, anywho, let's keep going with the the, the collection. So I have this pi It's Hydra. No, no it's Hyd... I named it Hydra. Yeah, however, it's not very good. I'm holding the cord very well. <laughs> Alright, so this is Hydra. <laughs> I really like the... <laughs> going with the Hydra aesthetic with five heads. The five heads. <laughs> and it's really good. And I draw... And in one of my... Vi and you, if anyone see my drawing videos, I use it for my own... For my Pirates Convergence drawing. Really good and really awesome. <laughs> With, with Phaedra's Ultra, which I, however, I'll deal with M and Mantis. So, anywho, let's go with the other, the other Ultras. All right, then here's, then there's Phaedra's Ultra, which I named her Bloom. And <laughs> Bloom. For those of you who know why I named her Bloom, is that. That Phaedra's Aldred looks like the it looks like the great dragon from the Winx Club. No, I'm really like the Winx Club and the battle plan and the crossover. That is really good. It's kind of with the wings and the wings and the head. Although it's not it's not anime accurate and like like with the battle plan anime, but I really like I like it. Pretty good. Next is next is new it's Ultra, which which I name it Twinhead, and name it Twinhead. It's it's possibly it's it's considered to be one of the best pirates back again for heal for helix cores, and I name it Twinhead for a reason. The fact it had is really good, and I. And here's its character card. So it has 200, 
and B power and 3 damage. And you'll gain 200 B and double strike with getting a helix core. So if you want to use this back in this nearly ultra over here, you, my best bet is try to use a 500 plus, plus B and minus 1 helix core and a 3 plus 300 plus V damage. Plus B plus 3 damage helix core. It might be better for benefit. It'll be much more beneficial than that. So here is Twin Ed. <laughs> and sorry for, for that. Now for the last ultra I have it is Trox Ultra Armor Alliance version. And you and anyone who knows a watch about the translucent Trox thing? And translucent Bakugan? Yeah, it's really good. And it's really good. So it, I kind of like the design. The fact it's a lot more, really good with the T Rex, and I call in my Pirate Strax. I'm gonna call it Flame Rex. Mm -hmm. Flame, fire, flame, and Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, really good. All right, so you, so these are all my Pirate Bakugan so far. And so, the Pirate Strax Ultra, it has a sheet 503 damage, 503, heal, and a and flaming fix, just like Armor Line Dragonoid Ultra and Pyrus. However, and like I said in the in mentioning about Pegatrix Core, I'm about making a Pirate's Awesome Brawlers deck. However, I'm and with Pyrus and Drag. With use of Pirate because it's Armor Alliance, Pirates and Trucks Ogre Armor Alliance, and Pirates Titan Dragonoid with Battle Planet. That there might be my best to pick for it. So these are all my my Bakugan so far. They're really good. <laughs> good. Good. You can see all of them in in there. <laughs> well, if anyone, and anyone heard about the di and Hydra's, Hydra's thing with the magnet of YouTube, yeah, it's starting to become a problem. So my best bet, so my advice, so I commented about we need the power of the Magnus Dragonoid, yeah, we need it. So my best bet, if, if you're going with Dragonoid Maximus, if you're going against Diamond Hydra's, Armor Alliance, make sure you have a Pirate's Attack card that can deal damage, flip cards that can protect you, and Hydra's such as Constrictor from Bakugan Resurgence, and then and block Outsider's card, or anything that can stop non Pirate's Bakugan, or the, or the Guard Sphere and from Ancient Auralis, you might need that. And for action, you might need Infernal Wings, or Twisting Inferno. But best bet, Infernal Wings. That way you'll gain B power and you'll g get rid of the back of core and the death and the effect from it. From Diamond Hydras. That way you can do it. Especially if you're going with Maximus. Dragonoid Maximus. So best bet, be careful. And, best, and be careful with it. Diamond Hydras. <laughs> it's really a thing. However, so this is all my back, my pirates back on. I'm a fan of pirates. <laughs> really, I really am a fan of pirates. <laughs> and I see in Amazon, I just see some pirates back on in there. It pirates centipod, pirates feral, all that. <laughs> I really am a fan of pirates and a pirates riparian ultra. So if any of you wanna know. <laughs> I'm really good. I really am a fan of pirates. So these are all my pirates back again. So I hope everyone is staying safe, having fun, and and, and back again battling, and have a good day.